You're about to learn how to split a single data column into several data columns in Excel. This feature may save you a lot of time in the office and make you the flexibility you wanted with your data. With large amount of rows. Let's go to the method. With this video I will show you how to create this worksheet, from this worksheet. First we want to split this column to this two columns as shown in here. In order to do that select the data column and click the data tab in the ribbon and click the text to columns option. In this dialog box we have two options to select and the selection shall be done according to the data we have in the data column. As mentioned earlier we want to separate the data and time portion from the data column. In order to separate data we can use both options as mentioned in here. We can use fixed with the option since the length of the date part is constant throughout the data column. As well as date part and time part are separated by a white space throughout the entire data column so we can use delimited option also. So for the part 1 I will go with fixed width option. Select the fixed width option from this radio button and click next and you will have this preview window. Move this vertical arrow to identify the two parts of the data which is in the original data column and click next. As we are separating date we can select the date radio button and format the date with this combo box. As you can see the date in a data column is formatted to date month and the year. So we can select mid date month year option. Don't forget to select the first data cell from the cell range which you are intended to have the separated data. Click finish. Now we have completed the part 1 of our exercise. So you are about to see how to separate the date column and time column further. As you can see data in the date column is separated by a forward slash and we can use it for the separation. Select the date column and go to the data tab in the ribbon and then click on text to column option. In this text to column wizard we can use delimited option since it does not include the delimited character in the result. So click on the delimited radio button and click next. In this window you can see a area named as delimiters. In this method we can use these predefined delimiter characters as well as use a defined character. In our example we have only one delimiter character which is the forward slash. So put the forward slash character after checking the other checkbox and do not forget to uncheck the tab checkbox here. Then click next. As we are trying to have three columns from day column we do not need to specify format for separated data as all columns contains only numbers. So keep the general radio button and select the cell you wanted to define as first data cell for your separated data and click finish. Now you have separated the date part to three columns and you can name them as year, month, date. As we did for the date column we can do the separation with the limiter option for the time column. As you can see your delimiter character would be the colon. Now you can proceed with the data separation from the time column into two data columns by following the previous procedure as follows. So all the separation is done and you have the desired output which is shown in the very beginning of this video. Thanks for watching. Please do subscribe for more videos.